<laughs> yes, yes, we're back with everyone's favorite series where you viewers give me your challenges and they're terrible. But I do them anyway, because it's free content for me. All right, our first challenge is play three rounds as DK. Every stock I lose, I have to throw a banana at Hopcat. Okay, that feels pretty mean. I'm just going to play one round of Donkey Kong. I got three stocks. For every stock I have remaining at the end of the match, I'm going to throw a banana at Hopcat. And hopefully he didn't hear that, because he is in the room next door. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we got a heavy ditto. I think that gives me a bit of a higher chance to have more stock left because pretty easy matchup. And the trick to this one is going to be keeping as many stocks as possible at the end of the match. I mean, I guess that's the trick to every single Smash Bros match I've ever played. And I've already lost a stock. <laughs> This challenge is meant to make me play safer and better. You know, adding a bit of a reward if I do well in the match. Usually these punishments are horrible uh, punishments if I lose. But this one's just something fun I get to do if I win. Oh, that was nearly the We Will Rock You. All right, I'm thirsty for it now. I'm thirsty for the We Will Rock You. That's it. Boom, boom, clap, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we call it the We Will Rock You. And bam. What? You cannot tell me. That missed. Well, you can tell me. I will just be very mad and I won't believe you. <laughs> but that down is connected. Okay, zero to death. And then I got two stocks left. That's good. Mm, I was going for a down air. Oh, it's still a zero to death because I have not been hit yet. Wait a minute. Come on. Why didn't I turn around? Donkey Kong, go home. You're drunk. Yes, that's it. Two stocks remain. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh boy. You already know what that means. Okay, I got my two weapons here. Hey, Peter. What, why did you do that? <laughs> ah! Ah! What the fuck, man? It was for a YouTube video. <laughs> you can't just abuse me for YouTube. Get the fuck out of here. Ah! Take your I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was the viewers. They told me. To. I'm sorry, Hopcat. Okay, well, after that, I think I want to play a character that I'm actually not garbage with. So, luckily, our next challenge is going to be play Gangplank Galleon on Kazoo while playing King K. Rool. Oh boy. Now, when I sung I Need a Hero while playing Hero, it powered me up. I'm hoping the same things happens here. I'm holding up for a hero to the wizard light. <laughs> One hour later. Two hours later. He wouldn't die for so f***ing long. We did it. We won. While playing Gangplank Galleon to perfection, might I add, is literally spit on my shirt that's dribbled out of <laughs> the kazoo. All right, our next challenge is to play Pokemon, but only using moves from Pokemon Unite. I'm gonna have like two moves to use. You know what, let's go with Greninja. Okay, so what moves can I use as Greninja? I can only use Substitute and Water Shuriken. <laughs> this is terrible. Who came up with this challenge? Is Ganon good or bad? I don't know, the counter's pretty good against Ganondorf. So Substitute is a move Greninja has. Oh, I've already lost. Just end me, Ganon. I was too thirsty for the combo. Even with Greninja having all this water, I was still thirsty. I'm an idiot. I want to verse this Ganon again, though, so I'm going to make him feel like he's being epic against me. Oh, you want to hit your sick combo? Oh, no. Damn. Wow, Ganon, you three-stocked me. That's worth a rematch. Please rematch me. I dropped out of Elite Smash. I can't play this Ganon again. Now we're against the Marth. Much harder matchup for us. And all I can do is Water Shuriken and counter when he gets close. Oh, I was trying to catch him out of the air. Huh, I can't even recover, because that would technically be using Hydro Pump. I got an air dodge to recover. I only just realized that. No, 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 no. Why did I do that? I just said I have to air dodge to recover. And now look at me. 
I wonder when he's gonna realize he can just shield to beat me. There comes a giant ah! I don't want to shield against him though. Not when he throws out that move. Not only did I use Shadow Sneak, so the, the challenge is over. But also I SD'd with it. Just rubbing salt into the goddamn wound. Alright, Marth. Just just end me. Grinning just not the character for this. I'm calling it. Okay, we're changing strategies here. I'm gonna move on over to Jigglypuff, who is in Pokemon Unite. May evolve into a Wigglytuff, but Jigglypuff can use Sing, Pound, and Roll Out. Three special moves and not even the good one. Okay, Jigglypuff, Pound, Roll Out, Sing. That should be enough moves. We don't need any more than that, right? Look at Pound, it's comboing into itself. I got combo game. And then we hit him with the mix up, the Roll Out. Okay, we don't hit him with the Roll Out because Roll Out is just god awful. Okay, we need to be singing for these kills. What? He was next to me. He was in the sing range. Yikes. Oh, we're comboing pounds together. Look at that. And now we sing him to sleep. Charge it up. Boom. That's the Pokemon Unite combo. What do you guys think of Pokemon Unite, by the way? I've been playing a lot of that game. Probably going to be streaming it more. So make sure you look out for that on the YouTubes. Become a member for $1 and you get to use all my emotes in the chat. And after that cheeky plug, I'm still just going to be mashing pound in the gameplay. Pound doesn't kill. Rollout is not going to hit him unless he's literally asleep. I don't know how else to get kills. I need to get a sing somehow. Okay. Catch the landing with a rollout, maybe. We have to catch his landing again. What? That is, um, that is not fair. Yoshi privilege. And he, oh, I'm dead. Jigglypuff, rollout. <laughs> On to the next match. Rollout. You know, I technically also just realized that Jigglypuff can't use Sing or Rollout in Pokemon Unite because it evolves into a Wigglytuff by then. What character can I even use to win this challenge? Okay, we're gonna try this one more time and we're gonna use Pikachu, who you might be thinking the only move from Pokemon Unite that Pikachu has is Thunder. But, okay, if you go into the Melee guidebook, it actually says that Pikachu's forward smash canonically is called Thundershock. So we're allowed to use Pikachu's forward smash as well. Pikachu's final smash is Volt Tackle. Another move which Pikachu has in Pokemon Unite. So we're gonna go turn Final Smashes on real quick. And that means I can use Thunder, Forward Smash, and Final Smash. And if I can't win with that, then this challenge is cancelled. Okay, so after like half an hour, I finally got a match. Of course, it's against a snake, uh, who's kind of the natural predator of mice. So that's not very fair, is it? What do I do? <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that hard read. Come on, another one. That's not gonna work. How am I going even with a snake? You have like 600 different options, all projectiles, and you can't even beat a forward smashing Pikachu. Well, maybe he can, you know. I won't speak too soon. Wait, I didn't even get my rule set. Can we have a timer of how long it took me to notice that I'm not on final smash meter rule set or smash balls? I thought it was gonna be like build up damage, wait for the uh, final smash for the kill. Challenge is cancelled. Give me my next challenge. I don't even know what it is. Let's make it something fun. Okay, the challenge is play online, but I can't hit my opponent unless they hit me. Like a turn-based game. I want someone with big, strong hits. You guys already know I'm going cannon. <laughs> this ice climber says, why me? Why me? I just lost to a snake and now you're going to put me against the ice climbers. Okay, good. I've gotten hit. That means I can officially hit Ice Climbers with a move. Any second, I'm allowed to hit them with a move. And I gotta make it a big one to make up for the 48% that they've dealt to me. God, this is gonna be such a way harder challenge than I thought. Okay, that's my one hit. Hit me, Ice Climbers. Perfect. Now I just gotta get a strong hit on them. Oh, does that count? Something dealt damage to them. I don't know what. Yes! <laughs> one little icicle in exchange for my forward smash. Trade off at Ice Climbers. I offer you uh, one multi-hit, one multi-hit of your side B for one Ganondorf forward smash. Is that a good trade offer? Hit me with the little icicle. Yeah, okay. Maybe Ice Climbers is good. They deal four to me and I deal 26% back. This challenge is basically like combos are cancelled. Good thing Ganondorf didn't really have many combos uh, to begin with. Ha! Ugh, they just roll in the right direction. I'm trying to get the reads. I'm dead. Why would I try to... Warlock Punch! I might stay against these ice climbers. You know what? I've talked a lot of shit. I I've said that I don't want to play against them, but for this challenge, it actually seems very good. Okay, round two, ice climbers. But this time, I'm not keeping it cool. 
We're sweating. We're trying to melt these bloody little brother or sister. Husband, wife. No one still told me. I've been asking for years. Maybe everyone has been telling me in the comments, but I, I never read the comment. Actually, speaking of which, comment below, because I will be looking for more viewer challenges for the next video. That's a lie. I do read the comments. They're all bad jokes about one of my best characters. But you know, I read them. Popo, it's my turn. This is a turn-based game. That's the challenge. I'm meant to be getting a turn. That didn't kill him? Mom said it's my, my turn, turn on the switch, switch ice climbers. climbers. I said it's my turn! It's time! It's a timed match! Hit me, ice climbers. They gotta hit me first. I can't try to move. Please, icicle. Yes. It freezes! Who knew that? Who knew? That is not a game mechanic. That's what I get for rematching the fucking ice climbers. Why is this guy got a three minute timer as well? Okay, hopefully I can have the stock lead this time. <laughs> Wait a minute, he hit me with the tornado after I hit Doria. Technically that gives me one more move. Okay, play that in slow motion just to justify my, uh, my strategies here. I done the math, checks out. The kaboom! Oh. Turn-based. <laughs> His forward smash, and no, that mine's a little bit better. Thank you, hero. Oh, no. Turn-based. I'm not getting a turn right now. I knew he'd try and snooze. Get out of here. I'm not falling asleep. We're wide awake. I'm woke. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not woke. I, I win the next match. I promise. Just got the one hit. She's going to jump. Oh, beautiful. Actually having the percent lead in this game mode is so hard. Because for every hit they get, I need to get something that does like equal or way more damage. Come on. Okay. That's zero so grab. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's going to do not much. <laughs> not as much as a Doria right next to your chin, zero so. No, no, no. Combos. This isn't fair. Why can't I do these? Oh, God. And that counts as my move, too. Okay. Zero will to live Samus as just SD. I'm going to hit that wall of punch sometime this video. I've been going for it too much. I still have one move stored up though, and I know which move's going to kill. It's the wall of punch. Come on, flip kick. Oh! <laughs> he says it, and he gets the read. <laughs> That's like the turn-based move where I'm spending 40 of the opponent's turns charging up that one move. <laughs> So I can punch her in the face. What a hard read. It's time for our next challenge. That's going to be play random. And every time I lose, I write an essay of why I lost. I mean, it's going to be a while till I lose playing random. Oh, that's some of my best characters. 81 characters in Smash and still none of them are Waluigi. What a disgrace. Number 31. That's going to be Snake. Okay, Snake versus Zero Suit. So not only is my stake really bad, but I also don't want to lose with him. Because if I lose, it's not just this one match of time in my life that I've wasted on Snake. I'm going to have to write an entire essay on why I lost, which I'd much rather do on a character that I actually enjoy. All right, forward smash, flip kick into it. Come on, Zero Suit. What is that? Why would she land there? It's so weird. My Snake is only good when I try to play him like a punchy character. Just like jump over, go for the back airs, go for the up tilts. Oh, speaking of up tilts, I have not done one yet, which is probably why I'm losing. Jump. Okay, watch this. This is a highly skilled Snake gameplay. Let me just, I just need to grab, and then the Mastermind is in. She's not going to roll towards the C4. Did she get up attacked? That's the one option that beat it. Okay, every time I try to do snake things, it goes so badly. My brain is too big. Do you guys think snakes are big or small brain? Kind of a 50-50. The top level snakes are actually really good and really smart at the game, but then the low level snakes just mash the same goddamn options and it works. Bomb has been planted. Okay, let's get her to roll into that C4 that I just placed. Oh God, I have to recover a snake. Oh, we made it, we made it. No! I tried to parry it. Why would I try and parry? I need to write an essay on Snake. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hi, my name is Zach, or Little Z if you prefer. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about why I lost as Snake. Solid Snake is one of the most complex characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And while being one of my best characters, 
You can see here that I personally don't have very much experience with the Metal Gear Solid protagonist himself. In this essay, I'm going to be critiquing my own Snake gameplay, investigating exactly why I lost to Re the Zero Suit Samus player, and providing some possible methods of improvement in order to win as Snake in future matches. So I believe that one of the main reasons for my snake gameplay being a bit subpar is that I have not yet crossed the threshold to become a top snake player. What do I mean by this? Well, as we can see here, the snake player skill increases as they discover all of his broken moves. We're talking about up tilt and dash attack and multiple projectile moves. However, rarely will you see a snake make it past what's known as the online skill ceiling, which is where they start using their brain. I myself am yet to cross this barrier, which you can see here on the third stock when I just forward smash three times in a row. There are no synapses firing in that gameplay. And so without this mastery of Snake's projectile in a very complex neutral game, I'm already going into the match at a severe disadvantage. But that's not to say this match was impossible for me to win. No, far from it. So let's analyze some of the mistakes I made during the match that led to Ree's victory. Now I believe one of the first turning points for this match was about 35 seconds in, where I actually, I actually do hit a forward smash on Zero Six Samus, but instead of playing safe to maintain this advantage, landing the move actually gave me the confidence to continue trying to go for it. However, Snake's forward smash is one of the laggiest moves in the game, and it actually ends up losing me this first stock, as you can see here. This brings me on to the second stock, where I actually failed to throw a single projectile in about 40 seconds. Now, this is not what you would expect from your typical Snake player. Projectiles are a crucial part of Snake's neutral game. Choosing not to use them was definitely a clear mistake on this stock. Once again though, after losing the second stock, I do find that quick up tilt again, evening it up only 9% behind. But what I believe really does turn this third stock downhill is that overconfidence on the forward smash again. You can see I do hit a forward smash here with three minutes to go and then repeatedly try it for a hard read because I know the next one will kill. Meanwhile, Zero Suit does just continue using her safe moves and good spacing to uh, gain that percent lead again and finish the match with a back air. Now, let's have a look at this parry attempt in depth. So the shield drops here and then 13 frames later, let's have a look, that's when the back air connects. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Smash Bros Ultimate's mechanics, a parry can occur within five frames of dropping shield. So this one being 13 frames later, it's safe to say it was not even close. Now I don't believe that this parry attempt was the real reason in which I lost this match. So let's dive in and take a closer look at our match statistics. We can start to determine which areas need improvement for future snake matches. So you can see here, forward smash was the most frequently used move over the course of the match, despite being one of the more punishable attacks in Snake's kit. And we also saw absolutely no use of up smash, which is arguably one of Snake's best moves. And what makes this forward smash habit worse is that the accuracy of this move was far below some of the other moves thrown out, with 13 smash attacks being thrown out and only two connecting to deal damage. On top of this, the move had a far greater chance of being punished when whiffed, with a whopping 50% of forward smashes going punished. And when you compare this to some of Snake's safer moves like up tilt, back air, and even dash attack, we can really start seeing some of the reasons why Zero Suit won this match. In conclusion, I do believe that a severe lack of Snake experience severely limited my chances of winning versus re the Zero Suit Samus. On top of this, my heavy, heavy use of forward smash repeatedly opened up opportunities for the opponent to deal damage. In future, I do think that a more projectile based approach will increase my chances of winning with a strong focus on walling out the opponent and using safer moves to avoid getting punished. But it also didn't help that the internet connection was fucking terrible. The next challenge is to play smash with the inverted colors in the switch menu. I didn't even know this was a thing. Ah, it's awful. Just look at the character select screen and how disgusting it is. Who do I want to play? Oh my god, it's dark, it's Shadow Puff. Pikachu is my sleep paralysis demon. Did anyone ever realize? It looks like he's gone like weird cross-eyed. Game Watch literally 
looks exactly the same. Trust Game & Watch to be boring as per usual? I don't like it. Village is going to kill me in my sleep. <laughs> King Dedede's eyes as well. They're like two lazy eyes. Isabelle is like on drugs. She's had a bit too much. I don't think I can go past playing Shadow Jigglypuff. Bit of redemption for the Pokemon Unite challenge. <laughs> Jigglypuff is coming for you. Oh, we're in purple purgatory. God, this is weird. I am lucky that I'm up against a Donkey Kong though as Jigglypuff. I like this matchup. He's dead. Shadow Puff has come to steal your soul. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I came out here. I saw this challenge. I thought this was going to be such a terrible idea. But it's actually kind of cool seeing the characters in a different color. Not going to say the same about the stages. The stages are really awful, aren't they? Oh, no, Donkey Kong. You're dead. <laughs> that was such a bad up DK. Donkey Kong is dead and all the families coming to the funeral. Chunky Kong's there, Diddy Kong's there, he's crying. What happened to my big brother? Roll in. Ah, the fingertips. Okay, we're not gonna get the three stock, but that's because I did a pretty terrible sing. Oh yes, and we're gonna get the rest. You guys already know. I didn't get the rest, we just like fast fell. <laughs> We need an exorcist! Jigglypuff, there's something wrong with her! I'm gonna play one more with inverted colors. I thought that was gonna be the last one, but I wanna see a new stage. Okay, I need to play Possessed Pikachu as well. Ah! When did Mario become the main villain of a slasher movie? And meanwhile, I'm playing Possessed Pikachu. I feel like it's like Mimikyu before it was cool. You can barely see where he is. And this Mario's got the advantage! He's not playing with inverted colors. Actually, you know what? I won't assume. Maybe he is playing with inverted colors. Who would ever do this, though, outside of a stupid YouTube challenge? Do you think there's people that have, like, a special type of color blindness that uh, they can only use inverted colors? All right, come on, let's go pick a blue. Oh, no. <laughs> I pick a blue that edge guard. <laughs> Subscribe. No, you're not hitting a forward air on me when I'm uh, on this last stock winning the match, Mario. We don't, we don't get hit by those. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? And he air dodged! It's a bloody sudden death. Yikes! <laughs> Thank God we won. We won the sudden death after all these crap rule sets today. Most of them are uh, made by me. Oh, we got the win. And I feel like I've redeemed the Pokemon Unite challenge. So that is going to be the end of today's video. Make sure you subscribe. When I hit a million subscribers, I'm going to be making everyone as OP number three. Make sure you hit the like button as well, or one of these sleep paralysis demons on the screen is going to visit you tonight.